Hello, and welcome to our summary on Michael Vay's Storm of Lightning. It's the fifth book out of seven in the Michael Vay book series. Jeff, why don't you go ahead and take it away for us? All right, we are starting with uh, the Electric Clan visiting the ruins of their ranch in Texas to look for survivors, but they can't find any human remains, which is a very good sign. But Scott can't contact his co-pilot, so he, Zeus, Ian, and Tessa go to find him, while the rest of the kids remain at a hotel. The kids get a surprise attack from a masked man searching the hotel, only to discover it was Gervasso, the resistance member who trained them. The reason for Gervasso contacting them was because the Elgin have already found them, and he came to warn them. Nathan, go ahead. So the resistance had enough time to evacuate everyone to another base. Back in Taiwan, Welch informs Hatch about their failure with the Jade Dragon, and Hatch has to arrest and sentence him to death. Quentin discovers Hatch's plan and decides to help Welch escape. Back at the Resistance's ranch, Taylor learns that her mother has been arrested for drug dealing and for Taylor's disappearance. Taylor, Michael, Ian, and Gervasso go to Idaho to help the Ridleys escape from the Elgin-influenced police force. The Elgin converge on the island of Tuvalu to establish a land base for their company. Final chapters follow the previous Elgin owner, Schema, after he escapes from Hatch. He is taken by the Resistance members in Europe, and he meets the voice. There are two more books uh, that include the clash between Dr. Hatch and the Lightning Kids. I would give this book a solid 9 out of 10 because, I mean, I really enjoyed the Michael Vay series. Uh, Jeff, how about you? Well, uh, I'd have to say this book was probably my favorite book in the Michael Vay series. This is the only one that I own of the series. And honestly, I think I'd give it a uh, 10 out of 10. And if we're, if we're allowed, uh, probably 11 out of 10. Because, well, this book is honestly just one of the most action-packed ones. Constant, constantly just, just uh, repeat after action after action. And uh, Nathan, let's hear your opinion on this. I would probably put it at about an 8.5 or an 8, just because I felt that in the middle of the book, there were a few parts where it started to get a little boring. I know that you probably want to agree with this, because, I mean, you said this is probably, like, your favorite book. But, I don't know. Maybe the book probably just wasn't as good for me. I wish it was as good for me as it was for you, but, yeah, I'd probably rate it an 8.5 out of 10. I agree with both of you. I mean, it had plenty of action but it also was a little bit boring in the center and that's why i gave it a solid 9 9.5 i mean and onto the topic of other books too it's kind of like the seventh book um it got pretty we got really boring in the middle i i stopped reading it and i didn't finish reading it till like almost a year later actually wow and i just decided at that point to just read the whole book again instead of starting in the middle where i left off so um I mean, that's with a lot of books, though. Some some books are kind of just, like, boring in the middle, but uh, they have a few good action parts. But in my opinion, the fifth book is definitely uh, the best book, or one of the best, if not the best book in the series. And, yeah. I would have to say that I probably read this book in about fifth grade, so before doing the podcast, I wanted to read it again. And when I did, I really enjoyed it, like... Like they were saying, there's a lot of action parts. There were a few boring parts for me where I was kind of like, I can't wait to get to the action again. But it was a really fun and cool book, and I was happy that I read it again. I couldn't agree right. more. I did the exact same thing. I hope you all enjoyed watching this, and uh, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. 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 Hello, and welcome to our book report on uh the fifth book of michael vase storm of lightning Jeff, take it away uh the electro clan visits the ruins to look for survivors but they can't find any uh humans uh <laughs> <laughs> god can't to discover it was gavasso the resistance member who trained them the resistance Go had ahead. enough time to have <laughs> Jeff. Hello. Today we are presenting Michael Vay's Storm of Lightning. It's the fifth book out of the Michael Vay series. It's the fifth of the seven series. Jeff, take it away. That this Welch escape. Back at the Resistance's ranch, Taylor learns that his mother had been arrested for drug dealing and for Taylor's disappearance. 
Taylor, it, Michael, Ian, and Gervaso go to Idaho to help the Ridleys escape from the Elgin-influenced police force. The Elgin, or Elgin, as we oh, sometimes call it, converge no. the, on the island of Tuvalu to establish a land base <laughs> for their company. Final chapters follow the previous Elgin owner, Schema, after he escapes from Hatch. He is taken by the resistance of <laughs> Okay, hero, scrap it, scrap it. Voice. Jeff screwed <laughs> it up. Jeff, <laughs> you can't just say no. Okay. <laughs> Gervaiso, Gervaiso, Elgin, <laughs> Tuvalu. <laughs> okay, so Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> but they can't find any human remains. Scott can't contact his co-pilot. Logan, we're recording. Logan, you we're idiot. recording. We're recording. Wow. I thought we were rehearsing. Good job, Logan. Oh, sorry, Good job. guys. Good job. Sorry. Now I have to do it again. Hello. Welcome to our uh, book summer start. <laughs> Gervasso, the resistance member who trained them. The resistance had enough time to evacuate everyone to another base. Back in Tower 1, what's- OH GET UP! Oh. OW! Ethan, Ow. if you mess this up one more time, I Ow. will smash a guitar over your head! <laughs> I'm sorry! I fell out of my freaking chair, you inconsiderate piece of oh, man. annoying wow, we're matter! Too. Are we gonna include this in the bloopers?